This is the first stakeholders meeting to discuss the Lagos Island Model City Plan initiated by Governor Babajide Sanwulu's administration. The State Ministry of Physical Planning and Urban Development convened this meeting of concerned groups residing on the island and other partners in charge of the urban city project to deliberate on the remodeling plan. Olui Kaolumide is the commissioner in charge of the regeneration plan and takes the lead, highlighting the benefits of the model city plan. It is important to state that the Lagos Island Model City Plan conceived basically to correct the negative impacts of the partial implementation of the expired Lagos Metro Metropolitan Master Plan 1980 to 20, I mean to 2000 on Lagos Island such as um, slump development, rundown infrastructure, illegal conversion of approved buildings to other uses, overcrowding in our various uh, uh, communities and units, flooding ex experience in uh, Isaleko, and building collapse among others. While government insists on cleaning up the area, others appeal to the leaders in the area to enlighten the youth on a project for Lagos Island. To make my brothers, my mother, my sisters, and everybody in Lagos proud, we have decided to start cleaning Lagos Island to make sure that Lagos Island is better than what it is now and that my brother my uncle can be happy they can drive around lagos island as they used to do in the 60s in the 70s which are enlightening our children on the way they will manage the new model city plan they should not engage the people that brought this from outside nigeria they should not go and be threatening them that without giving us money you will not do it. The flood protection. I believe... The company in charge of the project presents the final draft of the Lagos Island Model City Plan, expected to be completed in 2040. The social foundation we have is to guarantee is a minimum livability and well-being standard for all people, like access uh, to health, services, food, energy, housing, affordable housing, education, proper education, and so on and so, so forth. Other participants say more consultations must be held to ensure that the people are not sent out of the historical heritage. We lack development. We don't want to be thrown out of our community. We have seen it in so many areas. When you say you are doing development, by the time you feel the development, the people of the area will not be able to even pay for it. It's a wonderful development, but a whole lot more uh, questions need to be answered. And there should be a whole lot more collaboration with the stakeholders. And uh, several meetings should still be held. The indigents of Lagos Island welcomed the Model City Development Plan, which will last for a period of 16 years. But all they ask is to be carried along in the regeneration agenda.